what call from? An inmate at Rockville Penitentiary, a Tennessee correctional facility. If you wish to accept and pay for this call, dial 3 now. To refuse this, thank you. Maybe things turned out the way they did because I deserved it. For all the times I saw bad things and did nothing to stop it. When I was a little kid, I would walk in on y'all's fights, especially when they got ugly. But when you're little, you're just hoping the bad things are gonna stop before it gets to you. I'm on my smoke break, what's going on? I'm not gonna be home till like three or four, so I won't be able to let the repair guy in. Why, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, but I have to stay back. It's nothing bad this time. <laughs> really? Yeah, really, I can't let the guy in, so sorry. Don't worry about it. I can take another break around then, have him fix it then. But Vincent, you're too smart to be acting stupid. I'll see you when I get home. All right, bye. Are you here for tutoring? What class? Trig. Trig. Hey, Ava, can you help him with math? Uh, yeah, I think I remember some. Who knew that the girl I walked in on was the same one that's gonna tutor me? So what's going on in Trig? I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I'm just joking. It was weird knowing what happened to her before knowing who she was. She had no idea who I was, but I thought I knew everything about her. Like she was just a textbook example. So since you have your book here with you, um, we can start with a problem like uh, this one here. Cool. I still don't know which one to substitute for. I know, but you gotta look ahead to see what's gonna cancel. Oh, sorry. Why are you asking for help in Trig? Because I'm failing that class. Yeah, I know, but you know the material. So what's going on? Nothing, I just do better when I'm working with someone. Right, and you're not just here to waste my time. I think we're done, so. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not usually like this. I've just had a long day. I felt for her. Not even a romantic kind of way. I just felt bad. With what I saw earlier, I knew too much. I don't quite like my math teacher anyway, so I don't exactly try in the class, but, you know, maybe when you haven't had such a long day, we can try this tutoring thing again. All of these stations are lame. You're lame. Just pick a station. All right. Listen to me. Are you serious? What? My mom loves smooth jazz. She's old. <laughs> what? She's not old. She actually has quite a young spirit. She dyed her hair blue the other day. Yes, that is very young spirited. <laughs> yeah, she used to embarrass me, but now it's cool. Yeah, it used to be like that with my mom, too. So many kids in middle school would make fun of me because my mom was a waitress. They'd whisper and laugh because my mom served her parents the night before, but of course, her parents wouldn't know it was her because they recognized her, but <laughs> my mom was never ashamed of what she did or who she was. Are you guys close? Yeah, I guess you could say that. It's not easy to raise a kid here on your own. Have you told her that? That you admire her or whatever? She knows. I'm not that obvious about it, but she knows. This is disgusting. No, it's not. It's the best flavor they have. I can't believe I paid for that. You insisted. She didn't seem like the kind of girl to hide how she felt. I could read everything on her face. With how she grew up, I'm sure there was never a reason to not wear your heart on your sleeve. You should know I have a boyfriend. And? <laughs> we're having ice cream that you paid for? Yeah, but... Is he gonna freak out that we're having fun without him? <laughs> Who says I'm having fun? Mm. He gets paranoid when I'm out with other guys. What for? 
Don't be stupid, you know how guys are. You get with a girl, tell her she's everything, then you get needy, possessive, and call us those exact same things. Try to act tough when you're not. Maybe I was a little insulted by the generalization, but I thought maybe it wasn't the first time she had been hurt. I just wanted to prove to her that I was different. So who is he? You know Brad Simmons? He's our salutatorian. Bet you he's upset about getting second place. <laughs> Mm, I'm not impressed. At least he doesn't have awful taste in ice cream. Oh. <laughs> Vincent? Hey, what's going on? It's Brad. He thinks I'm seeing someone else. He just showed up at my house and blew up, yelling, and I just... He even... Wait, why does he think you're seeing someone else? He saw what I posted on Instagram and just started assuming I'm cheating on him. Vincent? What did you tell him? I told him he was being crazy, that nothing was going on, but he won't listen. Look, I'm done with him. I can't keep doing this, but... But what? I know he won't leave me alone if I break up with him. It's like he's got this thing in his head like he owns me. We run in all the same circles, but I couldn't avoid him if I tried. I just want to know he'll leave me alone. I don't know what to do. What do you think he is right now? He's probably at the library studying. I don't want to see him though, Vince. I don't think I could without losing it. No, you don't have to see him, Ava. Things are going to work out fine. Vincent, I don't think you understand. Look, I gotta go. Okay, see you. Thanks for calling me. If only I trusted my gut. The voice screaming at me to turn back wasn't my place. I was too involved. I wanted to show her that I could protect her. I wanted to show her that I wasn't fake, that she could trust me with her problems. I wasn't a kid anymore. I wasn't going to just let bad things happen and not do anything about it. Who are you, man? Why are you following me? You know Ava Williamson? Yeah, of course I know my girlfriend, man. Who are you? Just leave her alone, all right? She doesn't want to be with you anymore. Oh, all right. I know who you are. You know something about Ava? She doesn't know what she wants. She just likes messing around with guys like you. Easy to manipulate. Easy to mess with. I know what it looks like. I didn't recognize me either. Hey, look, I need to tell you something. I don't think I'll be seeing much of you anymore. I don't think I'll be saying much of anyone, but look, I need you to know you don't have to worry about Brad anymore, okay? He's not gonna keep Stop. messing with you. Vincent, his mom told me everything. I'm not an idiot, okay? I know what happened. I told them everything. What did you say? About half an hour after we talk, you followed Brad home from the library, pulled into a neighborhood and confronted him, beat him up. A neighbor saw you leave and the police questioned me this morning. Ava, why do you think I did that? What do you think I risked everything? You called me and told me he was hurting you. Did I ask you to send him to a hospital? I asked for your help, Vincent. It's not my fault you wanted to act tough. Are you serious? <laughs> Why do you think I did that? I was trying to protect you. Maybe I overestimated you. Maybe you really are stupid. Say what you want, but what were you really trying to prove that night? Hey, are you Vincent? Because they want you at the principal's office. I'd be lying if I said I didn't predict this. 
but I guess I wasn't really thinking about what was going to happen next. I could only relive everything Eva said to me. You were right. I was too smart to be acting stupid. But can you blame me? I just wanted to do what I couldn't do back then. I wanted to make it stop. Just make it stop.